It was so nice having Sonny Hostin on the show last week. And, you know, it's funny, because people have been blowing up my phone, and I always say being a host on The View is like a lifelong sisterhood, because I talk to Sonny all the time. And people are blowing up my phone because everybody's talking about how Sonny said that I helped her when she first took the job at The View. Take a look. You gave me a call. I don't know yes. how you got my number, but you gave me a call. <laughs> Girl, I can stalk somebody if I want you to. You really did. And you were like, I heard you coming on the show. And I was like, yeah, I'm joining the show. She was like, did, did they uh, give you car stipend? I was like, no. <laughs> did they give you this? I was like, no. I was like, let me get my deal sheet out. And you basically went over your salary for the entire time you were there. And you also gave me Jenny McCarthy's salary. Yes, I did. She got me I paid. gave everybody's salary. So here's the way I feel. I feel like, you know, the people, the corporations, they try to keep you knowing from what everybody else is making to keep you in fear, especially women, especially us. And uh, that is the problem. So you, you never really know if you're making too little, if you're making too much, if you're asking for, you know. And so uh, the one thing I have to say, because she did bring up Jenny McCarthy. Jenny McCarthy came in uh, to the show uh, making more money than I had made after being there six years. Jenny McCarthy came, and th th that's, she had negotiated. That's not, that's not Jenny's fault, <laughs> not at all. That's whoever valued Jenny and, you know, and would, that's a whole nother show, but. <laughs> And it was fine. I was fine with what I was making because I was very happy with what I was making <laughs> until I found out how much money Jenny was making. <laughs> then I... But here's the thing, like, Jenny McCarthy, this is what I said to Jenny when I found out how much she was making. She could have made much more, but they told her not to say anything to anybody else. So she had to keep her salary a secret because they were trying to get it done. And had I known, I would have said to Jenny, girl, you got all the power because they don't have anybody else to sit in this chair. You are, they are putting everything on you. She could have been making double. Like, she, you know, when, then that's the thing, when you know something, when you band together, then you can, you can negotiate. And so... <laughs> <laughs> After I got over being mad that she was making more than me, <laughs> then I was like, girl, you could have made so much more because you had the power, but you didn't know you had the power because they made you feel fearful, like you'd lose it if you told anybody. And so, uh, you know, I, when I renegotiated, I just didn't ask for more because I didn't, I didn't feel like I needed any. I, I was going through, well, are they even gonna give it to me if I ask? And um, so I decided because I said, I'm gonna let people know who are doing the same thing. I called Lonnie Love when she got the reel and I told her what I made and what she should ask for. I told Cheryl Underwood at the talk what I made and what she should ask for. And I did it because people did that for me. And I have to say, Rosie O'Donnell called me when I was in negotiations for The View. And I remember they gave me a very, remember John, it was very low, mm -hmm. low amount of money. And Rosie took the time to email me and she said, this is what I'm making, this is what the other co-hosts are making, so this is what you should ask for. <laughs> and I, it changed the game for me. And so many people don't want to, we gotta stop that. So many, we don't want to tell you, we, we don't want anybody to get what we get. There's enough room for everybody. There's so much room. Here, and I, I want to thank a girlfriend of mine, Kelly Stewart, because when I was doing uh, a show at, on uh, TV, I, I was asking everybody and nobody would tell me. And I said, I don't want to know your business. I just don't know what to ask for. And Kelly Stewart came and she was on the show before. She told me what she was making. Anthony Anderson, uh, I called him and I said, Anthony, I'm developing a show. I have no idea. And Anthony Anderson walked me through everything that I should be asking for. So I, I, I the least I could do is pay it forward because if you let if you pay it forward and they pay it forward we all can come up together so I'm, I can't wait to hear what Sonny renegotiated so I can come back to, to who I work for <laughs> <laughs> now I just want everybody to know at home don't just walk up to me asking me how much I make <laughs> that's not gonna work if you work at the liquor store that ain't none of your business <laughs> All you gotta do is give me my dog on Hennessy and Chardonnay. That, but other, what I'm making, not any of your business. <laughs> but if you're doing the same thing I do, I wanna see you go up. I wanna see you rise higher. But Sunny, I just wanna say, my sister, thank you for being here. It was so much fun to have you.